Haven't any of you stupid motherfuckers heard of Maslow's hierarchy? It's been around since 1943. 1943, Maslow's hierarchy. You've got 10,000 children that's starving. Starving to death in Louisville. 10,000. So you, the school is a separate reality. They don't give a shit about your personal life. They don't give a shit if you're eating or if you've even got a home. When you get into that classroom, you better do as they tell you to do. Or they will fuck up your life. They will suspend you. They'll send you to ISAP. But they definitely won't make sure you have a home or have something to eat. They don't give a shit about that. It's and how you how does that make any sense? How are you gonna teach calculus? How are you gonna teach physics when you can't even eat? Maybe we should teach them history and show them that children have no rights. And this is the way it's been for a long ass time. And finicide happened when Jesus was born. Jefferson County homeowners will pay higher school taxes as early as this fall. JCPS board members voted unanimously to approve a 3.4% hike during tonight's meeting. Newsroom with our exclusive story. Andy? Rick, 30 year old Jessica White turned herself in at the Hall of Justice this morning after a warrant was issued for her arrest on 20 felony and two misdemeanor charges. However, she claims she was acting in self defense. I'm not running from anything. I don't feel like I, I mean, I did something wrong, but I didn't do nothing wrong. Well, it is a word that evokes many emotions in people. It's a derogatory racial remark that has divided people for many years. And a Jefferson County high school teacher has now received the longest suspension on record for calling a student the N-word. Old son's bus stop at the corner of 24th and Broadway to find out who had been bullying him on the bus for months. WHAS 11's defender Renee Murphy investigates what happened and why in this story you'll only see on 11. Valley Traditional High School is in the middle of a racial controversy right now. A teacher used the N-word towards a student. The word is only six letters long, but the impact is far-reaching. Encourage him to remain in the state shall be fined in any sum not less than $10, no more than $500. Section 3, all fines which may be collected for a violation of the provisions of this article or any law be passed for the purpose of carrying the same uh, into execution shall be set apart and appropriated for the colonization of such Negroes and mulattoes and their descendants as may be in the state, adoption, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's, that's, that's Indiana. And we do want to warn you that some of the language in this story is strong, and it may offend you, it may offend some other people, but since this story is not just about the N-word, it's also about the teacher's intent and definition of the word, we have decided to leave it in the story for you to decide. Uh, for you. They didn't even want them there. Uh, state of Illinois, in its Statutes of Illinois, uh, 1853, passed, quote, an acts to prevent the immigration of free Negroes into the state, unquote. And again, quote, at the Constitutional Convention held in Springfield in 1862, an article referring to Negroes and numbered uh, 18 was added on March 5th to pro the proposed Constitution. It reads as follows, Section 1, No Negro or mulatto shall migrate or settle in this state after the adoption of this Constitution. A Boy Scout, a football player, a member of the ROTC, an honor roll student. He was hanging around his teacher's classroom door in December. The teacher told him to sit down, and the teacher says that Keyshawn used the N-word first. And I just kind of was stunned a second. Well, well, well then... Get away from the door, nigga. A well-known Louisville High School principal and a high school baseball coach are under investigation tonight. JCPS officials say a report from the Office of Education Accountability is alleging that PRP High School principal David Johnson allowed a private business to operate on the school's property. WHS 11's Brooke Hash is sharing the details in this investigation and how JCPS plans to handle the matter. This 24-page report from the Office of Education Accountability says PRP principal David Johnson should be reprimanded for his knowledge of unlawful actions by the PRP baseball team's head coach. PRP cooperated with OEA and gave them the, the documentation they asked for. At the buses roll out of Iroquois High after school today. According to school principal Joey Riddle, yesterday morning at about 10.30, a freshman student became disruptive in the career technology class. The teacher then brought the student out into the hallway. Uh, upon conferencing with the student, the student uh, reacted in a, in a very violent and aggressive manner, uh, uh, assaulting the teacher. 
The teacher suffered a broken nose and cuts to the face, and an ambulance transported him to the hospital. At which point, Ben Jackie says JCPS began its own investigation into the report. The OEA states David Johnson allowed PRP's baseball coach Bill Miller to operate a private business called Mid South Baseball Inc. on school property without board approval. In 2012, um, we, JCPS conducted its uh, own inv investigation um, and they determined that there were transactions, at least one transaction, taking place um, with Mid-South Baseball Inc. And um, there was a disciplinary record put in uh, Coach Miller's file. It was determined at the time that the PRP principal was not aware that this was actually occurring. The report alleges Principal Johnson knew all along. White women make up 80 to 90 percent of the education system in America, 80 to 90 percent are white women. Now, when the Germans got here in the 1855 Know Nothing riots in Louisville, the WASP attacked them. They rioted them. They burned down their house and they killed over 100 Irish and German immigrants. And one of the biggest differences between the Germans and the Irish and the Protestant white Anglo-Saxons that were here beforehand was that the German women would actually work out in the field with their men, the German and the Irish, because they came from poverty. And you can't just have one person in a team sitting around doing nothing. They were out in the fields helping raise crops and raise food for their family instead of just sitting around expecting to be waited on. And I was just... I repeated the same insult because that's sort of what I've been trained to do. The school district says that is not what they trained English teacher Paul Dawson to do. He tried to say I said it and for some and I didn't say it and no one else in the class knows that I said it because I didn't. Documents from the school investigation show that several of the students interviewed from Valley did not hear Keyshawn say the N-word first. We will take that information, the OEA report, any other information we're able to glean in the next few days, uh, and then work to see if there's any type of action that needs to be taken um, involving either the principal or the coach. The OEA also stated Johnson allowed staff to rent the school's hitting facility to non-school organizations, where coaches operated a summer baseball camp without JCPS authorization. Furthermore, the money made through these programs did not go through the district's treasury office, but rather into a PRP baseball account. A third concern reveals construction and upgrades to athletic facilities also occurred without proper documentation and approval. And as far as I've been in JCPS for 17 years, I've never had a situation like this occur. Iroquois school resource officer Chris Brands arrested the student and took him to the juvenile detention center. Brands declined comment in part because he had another juvenile in the back of his police cruiser leaving Iroquois High this afternoon. Okay. All right, have a good day, Thank Ellen Stevens, whose daughter is a senior at Iroquois, didn't know about the assault until we told him about it. He says he should have found out from the school. And parents should know what's going on in the school, you know. It's, you know, we can't be in the school with the kids, but they need to inform the parents if an assault has happened. Stephen says his daughter has been subjected to on and off bullying at the school and on some occasions he's come to Iroquois himself to complain to administrators. Dawson it's says that students so. use the slang version yeah. of the n-word yeah. at Valley High School all the time. He says N-I-G-G-E-R is a racial slur but says that students use N-I-G-G-A as often as they'd Can say dude or hey man. And Dawson <laughs> says as much as he does not like they the word, he desk. still Can used the, the slang pencil? version to feel more comfortable with happening. black students. Why, why is this word used so frequently? So I just, I just don't understand it. I mean, overall, the teachers are pretty good, but it's just, I mean, you got to deal with all types of people here. I'm, I'll just leave it at that. As for the teacher who was assaulted, Principal Riddle tells us he was not in school today, but does expect he'll be back. There were um, concerns that were raised by the internal audit auditors here with JCPS. They've been working with PRP to um, improve their documentation, to improve their paperwork and improve their process, and indeed that's happened over the last few years. The OEA report also found Johnson used the school's credit cards for thousands of dollars worth of lavish stays at hotels and car rentals during out-of-town sporting events 
Money in question, Jackie says, is not taxpayer dollars. A big part of this are things that have been worked on for the last couple of years, and we have seen improvement in some. Now what we've got to find out is that there been enough improvement. Yeah, the teacher's sore, but he's fine. Um, he's recovering. The principal also told us he didn't know why the school resource officer was leaving the school with another juvenile in his cruiser this afternoon. Riddle says in addition to the resource officer, Chris Brands, there are four other security members at the school. Live in the newsroom, Mandy Alcock, WLKY News. Ben Jackie says the JCPS audit is, the only, is not the only part of the investigation, which is expected to wrap up in the next few days. The OEA report recommended Johnson go through a three-hour training course on the rule books and reimburse the district for unauthorized expenses. Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News. Old son's bus stop at the corner of 24th and Broadway to find out who had been bullying him on the bus for months. And, and I'm trying to understand it. I need help. Yes, I, I use nigga. I, I, I've, I've used it. And this whole idea of African Americans were unable to get more than menial jobs, um, you know, obviously, you, you, you're to, to, to try to make the blacks equal with white people at this point in history, even at this point in history, would impossible. Only WLKY News was there as White walked down 6th Street this morning to turn herself in to authorities. As she arrived at the Hall of Justice, we were also there as sheriff's deputies took her into custody. It all started Tuesday afternoon when White says she went to her 7-year-old... The only virtue that JCPS gives a shit about is submission to authority, blind submission to authority, compliance, capitulation, submission, acquiescence. It's all the professor, oppressor, molesters give a shit about. They've got no other, no other virtues. Well, maybe they give a shit about lying, tyranny, slavery, war, genocide, superstition, ignorance, hypocrisy. But ultimately, all they give a shit is about making you their slave. They're the boss, and you're the slave. So shut up, masses. Get in line. Don't you get together. Don't you dare unionize. The teachers are allowed to unionize. You don't unionize. You divide and conquer. You have a bell curve, you use classroom management tactics, and you get them in line, just as if they're in the military. It's difficult today. It's impossible. These people, when they came over here, okay, they did not come from the same type of civilization we came from. Okay, most people that were coming from the Protestant Reformation, I mean, there were, there were um, acts, the old, Delu uh, old um, Deluder Satan Act, uh, was passed in the early colonies in the 1600s, making sure everybody could read. Old son's bus stop at the corner of 24th and Broadway to find out who had been bullying him on the bus for months. And, and I'm trying to understand it. I need help. Yes, I, I use nigga. I'll, I, I've, I've used it. Only one in five Jefferson County public schools are meeting all their goals. We went to two JCPS schools in West Louisville for a closer look. Our plants on the inside. It's thinking outside the box, literally. Four new lawsuits were announced today against JCPS. All of them cite complaints of bullying within the school system. WLKY's Lexi Sheen spoke with the attorney who has a history of taking action in these cases. Lexi? Well, Vicki and Rick, Teddy Gordon has filed a total of 11 lawsuits against the school district over the past year. Two of those have been filed just within the past few days. Some named students as defendants, others allege wrongdoings of teachers and administrators. But all of them are based on what parents call a lack of intervention by JCPS. These students at Portland Elementary School are watering their plant boxes, growing their own vegetables. It's part of Principal Angela Hosh's philosophy of getting her students personally involved in learning. And if you can get that spark, if you can get that hook, you can then teach. And, and I'm trying to understand it. I need help. Yes, I, I use nigga. I, I've, I've used it. Insults, bullying, uh, torment, harassment, uh, just an atmosphere of violence. The most public of the cases involved a second grade boy at Fraser Elementary School. The lawsuit states two fifth graders assaulted the victim in the bathroom at the school, leaving him to die by hanging him on the hook in the bathroom stall. Also new tonight at 10, principals give a loaded response after Kentucky's education commissioner says some county schools are committing academic genocide. Those strong words come on the heels of a report that shows 16 low-performing schools in our area 
They're failing to improve despite millions of dollars being invested for that purpose. Naming a teacher, the school's principal, and the two fifth graders as defendants. JCPS has said that all staff members followed protocol. Nothing is being done. It is a cancer that's growing worse and worse in the Jefferson County Public Schools because you can see how many schools are represented. All right? And then when it's reported, they're not taking any action to protect these kids. Another case surrounds a female student who says six boys brutally sexually assaulted her on the bus to Lassiter Middle School.